Alright, so today we're going to be going over filters in the filter gallery, which should be a pretty quick lesson. It's basically just showing you guys what it is, and then you guys can try it on your own later. Uh, you can do some interesting effects with the filters. So, to get to it, as you can see here, I just made a simple gradient and put a filter over it to make it look like a canvas cloth, which I used as my background for a while, and it looks pretty cool so uh... yeah let's get started so first i'm just gonna make a new document and called it gradient test and then i'm gonna go to my gradient tool which is located underneath my paint bucket and i'm going to change the colors of this to greenish to black. So then I'm gonna, oh, I don't want that. I'm gonna make it a circular gradient. And if you don't know how to use gradients, you can go look at lesson nine, I believe. It's something around there, and it's called gradients, so shouldn't be hard, too hard to miss. So I'm gonna make a simple gradient like that. Looks pretty average, actually. I'm gonna use good Photoshop skills and put it on a new layer should always make stuff on a new layer so then once you have the gradient you can use your layer and filter at the top bar up here you go to filter and then you can either choose from one of these which you will not be able to preview uh, if you already know what you want that's a faster way to do that but then if you go to filter gallery you can actually usually it starts out way too zoomed in so you can click these minus and plus signs to zoom out um, let me see uh, it's not let's see filter gallery there we go alright so wasn't showing up before for some reason but there's different you can use pull down menus there's different things you can try out the glass was the one I used before to make it look like cloth and then there's just a bunch of different filters you can add on top of your layer which will make some pretty cool and different effects um, there's a bunch of things and then once you have one you like. I kind of like this one uh, or that one but you can mess around with these settings on the side also and change the look of the detail and the texture and the brush size. There's different settings for a lot of them but I like the brush size big, detail, texture oh, whoops. yeah and then just click OK once you're done with that, but I think it's under artistic. Yeah. So then you click OK and it will automatically change the texture of that. So I like that a lot. Uh, it's really, you can add some really cool effects to photos and images and different layers that you're on. Uh, that's how I made this red canvas one. Um, it adds a lot more to it than just normal so this is a picture of my dog I'm gonna show you what you can do with it on a normal photo so make a new layer with command J go to filter filter gallery and zoom out so you can see it uh, plastic wrap is a pretty cool one but you can also download more of these on the internet and install them I might make a video on how to do that later but these are the basic ones Photoshop comes with so you can make some really professional looking uh, images uh, that you normally wouldn't be able to do very easily or it would take a lot more time so I like that one and you can make the edge bigger or smaller um, glass make the distortion down See, it looks like you're looking at them through glass. 
Uh, so like you can just play around with this and when you click OK you might like want to Photoshop this into another picture behind a glass that you made and it would make it look a lot more realistic and it's just stuff to play around with that you can do. So lastly I'm going to show you uh, some things that I made. This is a picture of me holding a crystal ball and if I zoom in you can see the texture on the face is very distorted and cool looking. It's uh, it's called neon edges if you go to filter filter gallery it's under stylize I think yeah glowing edges you can make the whole picture look really cool so yeah just stuff to play around with uh, you can use it in your project too as I mentioned earlier uh, for the gun in my project too for the Abraham Lincoln it actually uses a, fil a filter to add more texture to whatever layer you're working on so yeah um, pretty simple not too hard just make sure you're working on the right layer and uh, next we're going to be getting into a bigger subject that will take a little bit more time for you guys to master which is the pen tool and this is an important part of Adobe Illustrator also so uh, yeah next time I'll just be going over what the pen tool is how to use it and then we'll start working on some exercises and move into a project soon so that should be cool to just uh, work on project two and work on project one if you haven't done that you can always turn them into adobe software tutorials at gmail dot com there's a link to that in every project video so comment rate subscribe and i'd love to hear back from you